Question 23. Here's a sequence of patterns made from squares and circles. So we've got some squares and we've got some circles. And the results are recorded in the table. So we've got number of squares in the first column, number of circles in the second column. It says the sequence continues in the same way. Calculate how many squares there will be in the pattern which has 25 circles. Now what we need to do is try and find a rule that's going to help us. Now some people may be able to spot the rule quite easily to get from squares to circles. It's not going to be a difficult rule. It can't and it's got to be the same rule that works each time. So 1 to 3 is add 2. 2 to 5 is add 3. 3 to 7 is add 4. Now that isn't the same rule because we've got three different rules there. So that's no use to us. So we'll get rid of that. Now if it won't work just by adding you may have to try multiplying and adding. So a quick look at it then might show you that if you double the, the number of squares and add on 1, it will work. Double 1 is 2, add on 1 is 3, so that works. Double 2 is 4, add on 1 is 5, so that works. Double 3 is 6, add on 1 is 7, so that works. So we've got a rule, and the rule is this, the number of squares doubled and then add on 1 seems to give you the number of circles, and that has worked every time. Now we get told that we've got 25 circles, so what we can't do is put 25 there because that would be saying 25 squares. We've got 25 circles, so 25 has to go there. Now we need to work backwards to find the number of squares. Whenever you work backwards, you do the opposite. So we need to come backwards this way. And we need to undo everything that's been done. So if we multiply by 2 and then added 1 to get the number of circles, when we go backwards, this add 1 is going to become the opposite. Opposite of add 1 is subtract 1. Opposite of multiply by 2 is divide by 2. So what we need to do now is work that backwards. So 25 subtract 1 is 24. And 24 divided by 2 is 12. And now we've got back to the fact that there would be 12 squares. So that's your answer, 12. Just to double check in terms of the table, if we said that there were 12 squares, we already know that this rule works. So times 2 plus 1, 12 times 2 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So there would be 25 circles, which is exactly what it says in the question. So your final answer is that with 25 circles, there would be 12 squares.